it's always so funny with that countdown thing because the music goes i'm like dancing and we can see each other i'm like shimmying <laughs> how are you good morning jackie how are you good i'm good marcia and welcome to go call monday everybody um marcia first of all okay before we just got on here marcia and i were talking if you guys are not following marcia if you're not following our personal um instagrams you should be Marcia, yesterday, tell us about your yoga experience. It looked amazing. And then say like the Marcia-ism that happened. And if you guys, I can say that because this stuff always happens to me too. Yeah, first off, Jack and I have a hashtag called hashtag always something because between her and I being a klutz or something going on, it's always something, okay? It's the story of her life. Like we live life in bloopers, right? <laughs> There's always yeah. a blooper. And, you know, a lot of stuff doesn't get caught on camera sometimes, but this one just happened to be get caught on camera. So my friend invited me to this beautiful, uh, yesterday was the first day of spring, and my friend invited me to this beautiful yoga, kind of like as a yoga practice slash little ceremony. And for the first day of spring, they're like, hey, wear white because it's, like, you know, like a fresh slate clean. I'm like, that sounds beautiful. I'm in. So here I come this you know, place. The yoga teacher was amazing. She was super divine. I would go to do yoga with her if I didn't live so far away. She lives on the other side of town. It's just not conducive to my thing. But if you guys are in South Dallas, South of Lamar, it's called Infinite Yoga, yoga Studios. And Danny is an amazing yoga teacher. But this was celebrating the first day of spring. It was an hour and a half yoga practice. And then we wrote these wishes on the piece of paper. And she pulled us a card. And we got this card, we got to read it and, you know, said what it means. We, we was like, went through meditation, a prayer, she had the sound bath. I mean, it was a really, really cool experience. And leave it to me <laughs> to bring the comic relief to, <laughs> to this moment. Whereas you, what happens is this certain type of paper is called this wish paper. And you write your wishes on them. And then you think about it, pray on it. And then you light it on fire and everybody like kind of cheers your wishes off. Uh oh, sorry. I had a call. I didn't know that did it with my call. <laughs> Can you see me? Yeah, you're okay. No, Here you go. Back. Okay, so you light the piece of paper, and then it flies. After it burns down, it really it flies. It's actually pretty cool. So the first girl lit it, and you know, I was you know those who are like, hey, take a picture of me doing that, you know, a video. I'm like, sure. So I was taking pictures and video for the girls in the group. And they would light it and it was lighting on fire and just cheering them on. Comes to me. And this is so funny because Brandy didn't even notice this. My friend Brandy is the one who filmed it. She didn't even notice this. She puts it on me and I light it. And then my finger catches on fire. I'm like, ah! Oh! And then the, um, the little match thing, I thought I put it out. My finger was catching on fire and I didn't. It fell on the yoga mat and the yoga mat was on fire. And it literally is on fire, but Brandy is filming me and I'm like, we're, we're looking at the little wish thing in the sky. We're like, yay, we're so excited. And like, nobody's seeing this at this point. And the yoga teacher ends up, you know, looking at me and she's like, your mat's on fire. And I was like, my what? And I was like, oh, and I'm like putting my mat out. <laughs> Cause it literally caught on fire. And when I put my mat out on there, I had black, it was, you know, it's rubber, but it's a black yoga mat. So the rubber was burnt and has like a little indention in it. I was like, I am so sorry. I almost burned down the studio. I was like, oh my God. So it was, a, it was funny, but it wasn't funny because, you know, it gives a new meaning to stop, drop and roll, right? You're just like, right? oh. but at the end of the day, thankfully nothing happened and it remained a blooper, but we got it on film. So I shared it in my stories for people to look at. So you guys, if sometimes you're going to have those days, right? Like sometimes those beautiful moments are going to take a left turn and it's like, what happened? <laughs> always. That's like my, those are my always I can't hear you, Jackie. Are That's you a mirror? I don't think so. Can you guys hear me? Hey, Annette from, from uh, no. Mm. Annette, can you hear me? Can you guys hear me? Can you guys hear me? I can hear you. But you can't hear me now? I can't hear you, Jackie. I don't know if it's on my end. We have to hear from you guys. Again. Who can you hear? Hashtag always here something. Go. Yeah, here we go. I'm putting it up. Hashtag. What's interesting is I heard Jackie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, is it my volume? No. I'm like, I don't know. I don't know. Can quick. you guys hear me? Oh, here we go. Someone's making a comment. Yes, yeah, sound is fine. 
That's good. Yes, sound is fine. Interesting, because I can't hear Jackie. You know what I'm going to do, Marcia? I'm going to. I may okay. have to get out and come. Yeah, we're going to try this. I'm going to bring her back in and let's see if this works. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now, Marcia? No, apparently not. Yeah, she's going to have to come back. All right, you guys, here is a funny thing. So I went to dinner with some girlfriends over the weekend, and we it was actually like a triple date. We had our husbands get together, and it was really good because all the friend group, like everyone got along, all the husbands got along. We went to this really swanky restaurant, and of course, we tried to make a reservation last minute, and there was nothing available, no bueno. So I'm like, well, my husband knows someone at the restaurant, so let's see if he can get us in. Sure enough, got us in, 7.30 reservation, which is unheard of in Miami. Like, literally all the good restaurants, you can't get a reservation until, like, 10 p.m. or something ridiculous. So we have dinner, 7.30 p.m., this beautiful, swanky restaurant. And I'm walking to my heels all sexy. And you guys, when I walk in these big, huge shoes, I literally almost fall over all the time. I didn't use to. Can you hear me now, Marcia? I can, but for some reason, I don't know. I think it could be my end, but it's the volume is so low. It sounds like you're whispering and it's up high. I don't know. Again, technical difficulties. My, my laptop's not working, guys. I'm on my phone. And again, hashtag always something. <laughs> always something. All right. So... We're walking, I'm almost falling, but we sit down, it's all amazing. And then all of a sudden, like, all these camera people start coming in and there's like this huge rush of people and like all these people. And all my friends are like, well, someone's here. And this woman starts walking up the steps in the silver outfit or like super close. I'm like, that's Kim Kardashian. Sure enough, Kim Kardashian was at dinner, Khloe Kardashian, they were all there. It was the craziest thing and she, Actually, if her face didn't look like her, I don't know. I don't think she had a lot of makeup on or something, but she, it didn't look like her, but I could tell from her body with her butt and everything. And Chloe, I'm shocked that we didn't see Chloe because Chloe is so tall and she was there with Kim. So that was fun. And all the girls, we were like, let's go up to the party. Let's go up. Let's crash the party. And all her husbands were like, no girls. And we're like ancient and definitely not dressed appropriately for the party they were at where like dinner clothes and they were in like going out clothes it was the funniest thing but we had so much fun and then we're all gonna have to we're all gonna hang out again so it was like the first time we did like this little date and it was so fun everyone got along famously we had really really good food and yeah the end it was awesome <laughs> what restaurant was this swan it was literally like walking distance it's in the design district this is you know, the design district, that's where my yoga studio is, everything. Like, it's just, it was so much fun. And the food is so good. And it was just a great evening. And then it was fun seeing Kim and Chloe, except I didn't see Chloe and whoever else was there. But Pharrell, it's Pharrell's restaurant. And next time you come in town, Marcia, we're going to have to go. They have a hotel here. And the hotel is phenomenal. Like, it's the best place to do all kinds of, like, Instagram pictures and stuff. So we're totally nice. there. Yes, yes. But enough about that. What are your goals this week? And you guys, I'm not just talking to Marcia. What are your goals? You're watching. Exactly. What are your, your goals this week? Yes. So uh, my goals this week is always the same, to work on my stress and my sleep and my anxiety. So I've been doing a really, really good job managing it. I want to continue it, be consistent in it. So um yeah, I'm already feeling 100% better. It's just, it's been a world of difference from when I first started. And I, you can't, you don't know that until you're kind of out of the thick and you can reflect back. So yeah, I'm actually glad I'm getting an average of seven to eight and a half hours of sleep. Um, there's been times I got nine and a half to 10 and a half hours, which wow. is rare. Yeah. Um, it's very interesting. So I, I get to go back to cryo this week now that I do my IASIS therapy that I'm down to one time a week. So she said I can cryo now. So I cannot wait to go today. I'm so excited because I will notice this is crazy. I'll, I'm taking a picture so you guys can see my taking time off from cryo for almost six or seven weeks now because I've been doing that therapy. 
Um, so when I would do cryo within 30 days, my body looked really, really cut. And, and I was like, whoa, and I'm still eating, you know, working out, eating healthy, normal stuff that I always do. Like I do a mix of like cardio, yoga, some classes or, or workout programs. And, and we have the um, plant chick power programs, happy new rears when I'm usually doing the gym right now. Um, Jackie and I, we will talk about intensity soon. We're starting another fun one with you ladies, but I'm taking happy new rear and I'm using that program for the gym. And then in between days that I'm not motivated, I actually sign myself for, for a class, which keeps me accountable. So I've been very proud of myself on the workouts. Nutrition has been super clean. Um, staying away from the sugar, alcohol, caffeine, all that kind of stuff is crazy. I can't believe like I'm drinking decaf and then I have this, uh, I put, um, this one's actually coffee brew. Oh, cold Cold brew, but there's no coffee in it. Uh, cold brew and uh, cacao, right? Mm -hmm. It's like the cold, chocolate thing flavor. And so I put a little thing of decaf in here. And you know, decaf has a little bit of caffeine, I would say, but I'm not drinking full caffeinated. Where I was used to drinking like two or three cups, well, not three, but two cups a day. So I'm actually pretty proud of myself just for one, just the taste of the coffee, I think is more than anything for me right now. But with that being said, the managing has been great. So I had to get off of, cryo because I'm doing this with a therapy and my therapist did not want it to interfere. So she's like, let's just see what it is and then go back to it. So I did. And in the process, when I was doing cryo within 30 days, my body was cut and my arms were cut, my abs, my glutes, I had the butt cut. I mean, I was just like, Ooh, I'm getting better in shape. But I was like, hmm, this is a little more cut than I usually, am. but I really believe that cryo had reduced the inflammation in my body all over. Well, here I am sleeping better, less stress, all this stuff. And my body seems to get softer. And I was like, let me weigh myself. I feel like I'm getting, I hate to say this, fluffy. And then I got on the scale. I'm actually two pounds down. And I'm wow. like, whoa. But I think that the cryo, like my arms are not cut right now. They just look like skinny, like they were before, just skinny little arms. So I'm interested. Today's my first day of cryo. I'll take a picture of my body and my arms. So you, just so you guys can see, like, Here's my arm, I'll flex and not flex. Do it in 30 days and you will see the difference. I'm telling you, the cryo reduces all over body inflammation if you're consistent with it, right? Not just doing it one time a week. I try to do it three to five times a week, but being truly consistent with it, I really believe that it actually helps speed up my recovery in the gym or any other, uh, re uh, say, inflammation that I have from foods, outside sources and workouts. Cause you produce inflammation from working out too. Right. It's like a different type of inflammation, but the combination of that helps my body lean up and look ripped. And what's crazy guys, I'm taking a picture a day of my body. So every morning I wake up, I put my same bathing suit on, I snap a picture. I'm in the mirror, wake up, snap a picture, snap a picture, keep doing that. And I'm going to, there's, there's this guy, he had this thing where he did 365 days of just what his body looked like transforming. So this is my year I really want to get my health back, not just, you know, like physically on the outside, but in inside as well, like the all, whole, all over package, inside and out. There's nothing wrong with wanting to look good on the outside too. So I'm like, this is going to be my best healthy year from the inside out, I'm taking a picture of it externally. But of course it, it counts where you feel it internally, right? I have my doctor's appointment next week for blood work. So, you know, I got my skin cancer checks. Like, so I'm on my health <laughs> this year. And I'm super excited to see how in 30 days, what cryo will do again. And it looks so crazy because it was weird in December. I hadn't started the picture a day thing, right? And December is when I started doing cryo. And then 30 days later, I was getting ripped in those 30 days. So I'm excited to actually document it. Like, here's a picture of me. I'm going to do my arm. And then 30 days later, and you guys can see what, what cryo is. Now, cryo did, did a lot of other stuff that helped reduce anxiety, helped me sleep better. But... Let me just tell you, like the physical component, what it did for outside of my body, I was like, wow, that was unexpected. And then you guys know me. I never have cut arms unless I'm competing. I've never had cut arms, just not in my genetics, just like some people just genetically don't have calves. I genetically don't have arms. I can get ripped up. Even back in my bodybuilding days when I leaned out, they just got tinier and skinnier. And if I'm a, under like a certain body fat, I almost look anorexic. Just because my arms are really teeny tiny. It doesn't match my legs. It doesn't match my body. So with my arms being cut, without them looking super skinny for me, quote unquote, dieting down, because I'm not dieting down, you guys, I was actually shocked. And then now they're like little slabs of meat. No, I was kidding. They're like, <laughs> there's no cuts. There's no nothing. I'm like, 
seriously within six weeks like and i've been working out more more consistent anytime there's sunshine I'm getting out of the sun and plugging in we've got a couple of good days but then it goes back to rain or cold again you know because we're still in that weird season of um i would say in dallas it's a weird season it won't get nice until actually mid-april april is where we start seeing the sunshine more consistently because right today it's like cloudy and i didn't want to get out it's rainy and i'm like <laughs> so fun fun people no i never it's funny i've had a friend that who i'm doing little you know influencer stuffs around dallas with and me and tammy would set these appointments up and every day the snow's coming in it's like 20 yeah. degrees 30 degrees it's gonna be ice storm and she's like why are you setting these i'm like i don't know and then next thing you know it's like nice and sunshine for a week and then i'm like ah. and then I mean tanny will set it up and the ice storm is coming she's like why do we set these on ice storm days i'm like i don't know and so today she texts me she goes hey i want to see if you can get available so we can take some pictures and stuff i'm like let's set up like three or four dates because if the ice storm comes out of nowhere again and she's like we have like just like we had affinity for that i don't know what's going on i'm like girl i don't know either so anyway um I went off a tangent on that. <laughs> I'm ready for sunshine to come to be more plugged in to get more vitamin D aspect of it because right now it's not good. I actually got a shot for 100,000 IU uh, vitamin D and my doctor's going to see how my body works with that because you guys know I've been vitamin D deficient for eight years and it's getting worse. It went from 50 something to 30. 31 was the last one. And it's very shocking because I do, I'm adamant on my vitamin D, take it with K2 you know, D3 with K2, eat it with a healthy fat. And then of course you got the real sunshine. So these are things that I do on a regular basis. I'm really consistent. And for the fact that it's going down is super scary. He actually mentioned that he wanted me to get a bone density scan to see where my bones are at because getting to that age, you just want to see where it's at with my low vitamin D. So we'll see. <laughs> I think that's a really, really good idea. I'm glad he's going to do like a DEXA scan to see your bone yeah. density. That's smart. But I love the, so like, we always come on here, right? We do go call Monday and we ask you guys what your goals are. You're supposed to claim them. So write them out. Let us see what your goals are. And you heard Marcia, like this, she's been working on her sleep and anxiety. She's been working on that pretty much the whole year. So you don't have to have a new goal every single week. If there's something that you really want to like master in your life, keep working on that same thing. And I love your dedication and commitment to doing this. And you're literally changing like you're choosing different actions. You are choosing not to drink. You're choosing get to not eat sugar. You get to eat foods that are nourishing and healing to your body. You get to get outside and like get the sun. You're, you get to do a lot of different things, but you're choosing your heart. And I really, really respect that with you. So you guys write down your goals. We want to hear what your goals are or one, just choose one goal. What is your one goal this week? Marcia shared a couple, which is amazing. And like you, you got your skin cancer check. I go, I go to the derm a lot because I like literally they're always finding things. So my skin cancer check isn't, I can't even remember what my next appointment is, probably in a month or two. But this week I actually have my mammogram and I also have a colonoscopy on Thursday. So Wednesday afternoon is when the fun happens. I'll be documenting that. And you guys, this is my third colonoscopy. If you're on our newsletter, then I shared a little bit of my story. I think it was two weeks ago. And I had a time when I went to the bathroom and there was blood on the toilet paper. And I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. This is not normal. My doctor didn't want to do anything about it. I have a friend who, or actually an ex, I used to date this guy. He's a big gastroenterologist in another city. And he was like, no, no, you're young, you're healthy, blah, blah, blah. And all these doctors were just kind of trying to write it off because I was young and healthy. I was not young. I was 45. I was plant forward at the time. And, you know, I was pretty healthy, but I knew something wasn't right. So finally I did get a referral to a gastroenterologist, had a colonoscopy and he found a huge polyp. And you guys, I could have saved my life because those polyps progressed to cancer. And if I would have waited until 50, which is the normal age for colonoscopy screenings, it used to be back then. Now it's going toward to 45. But I could have had like stage three, four cancer by that time, colon cancer by that time. So it's really, really important that you trust your body. You look at your body. You pay attention to your body. You pay attention to everything that's happening. And 
just like Marcia, I have my physical every year. I get my labs done. My iron is a little wonky right now. It was like super high last year. And now it's a little bit on the low side. So I'm having an upper and a lower GI. So I have an endoscopy on Thursday morning, followed by a colonoscopy. So I will be fasting basically on Wednesday. And then I get to do the fun colonoscopy prep. So I'm staying close to the bathroom, but this is like a week of health for me. I mean, I'm doing everything the same, but my goals this week are to document my mammogram, document my upper and lower, my endoscopy and my colonoscopy. And then also the thing I'm working on is like getting up in the morning, having a, a slower morning than what I'm used to. So I'm actually getting up. 30 minutes early, just so I can listen to a meditation, I can journal a little bit, and then I can get up, do my tongue scraping, brush my teeth, go to the bathroom, take a shower, and then go work out. I like to get my workouts done in the morning, just like Marcia. Like these are our normal things. Like we work out on the daily, we eat nourishing and healing foods on the daily, but how else, like how can we level up? Marcia and I, that's one of the reasons I was really drawn to Marcia is because she's always wanting to do better and learn more and share like how to level up and how to keep getting healthier. And I also am a big advocate of doing better, feeling better, sleeping better, like all those things. So my, my focus, and it's going to be for a while because I want it to be like second nature, like brushing my teeth. I really want to get into a really good meditation practice and a quiet time and journal and like set intentions and manifest and all that, that good stuff. Some may call it woo woo. I call it fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> no, I love that. I mean, you all, you, I think you and I are, are like, we're so many, so similar in so many ways. We're so alike wow. on wanting to always level up. We're very forgiving. We can meet people where they're at in their journey, whether it's our husbands or ourselves and other people. I mean, sometimes I think you and I have a better, you know, with ourselves, sometimes we have a harder time, right? We're so hard yes. on ourselves. But I think at the end of the day, we know that our brains are malleable. We can change the way we think, our perspective, and we can also change the state of our health. So if you're out there listening, you, you, don't, you don't have the right mindset, we're here to tell you, yes, you may not have the right mindset right now, but you can have a different mindset later. And it's always about change. Your brains are, are always evolving and changing, and you can change it for the better, or you can change it for, for the worse. And the same thing goes for your body. But it really starts with the brain, right? This is where we need to change it. Let's say making that decision. When you were saying about your colonoscopy, you've always been good about that. And I love that she's always been a big advocate. You should actually do a TikTok on that. Yeah. Um, and document your journey, like from your prep to like if they can not only get you in the room, if uh, they can, but not like getting obviously the physical thing they've done, but just like <laughs> the prep of it. And then you come out with a clean bill of health or whatever. But, um, but that way people can see it's not as not as scary when people when you think colonoscopies you think oh this thing's up my butt and you're like eh. you, you think of the worst case scenario so one of our friends is like 52 we were having dinner with him on saturday night and um he said to us we we're talking about colonoscopies and it was funny because keith is getting his in april and then i've already had mine and i i've actually had two because i had a parasite thing and you know that led to ulcerative colitis so i've had two of these things like when i had it done and then a year later to check it so um, I need to get another one. So I need to schedule mine this year. Long story short from that, we were telling him he needs to get a colonoscopy because now he doesn't have a wife. He got divorced. And so I was like, you know what? I'm just going to let him know. I said, I said, have you had a colonoscopy? And he was like, no. And I, he was going off of the worst case scenario, which most people do. They're like, oh, I don't want to do that. That's gross. And I'm not that old. I don't think I need one. And I'm like, uh, you're 52. Yes, you do. Like, you should actually get one in your 40s. But... So I think you need a colonoscopy. And he was literally like, you know, going down the negatives of it. And I said, listen, the, the worst case scenario is if something happens and it's very preventable, you could get something done, like a pulp cut off. My brother had 10 in his that were cut off. Had he wow. not went, he could they could have turned into cancer. So just like Jackie's situation, it can turn into cancer. If it's not, you have skin cancer on your body. I mean, we all have different types of cancer ready to be like fired at any time. But if you could do preventative measures, like cut it off or cut it out. And this, we told him, we're like, hey, just to go in there and check, like you're, what's one or two days of prep, whatever, I can't remember, it was one or two days. One, for, one day, okay, of prepping to do this 
versus where, hey, number one, where a colonoscopy bag, right? Or getting cancer, worst case scenario, and then something worse, right, happens than that. So I'm like, you have these choices, then your choice right now is actually to think about it, look for a doctor, the choice to call, to make that appointment. It's a choice, right? You have a choice, like you could do it right now. Like, I don't know if his wife made his appointments or whatever, but think about it. Now he's he's responsible for his own health. Like sometimes I can nag on Keith, to, like he could be healthier, right? Like I'm his wife. But at the end of the day, it's his responsibility to put whatever food he eats in his mouth, to go do exercise and to go to his doctor appointments, right? It's his responsibility. And my health is my responsibility. And so I just, I thought it was kind of sad that he actually had all these reservations and blocks why he didn't want to do it. And then you might be having that same reservation of blocks, whether it's going to a doctor appointment, whether it's starting your new nutrition plan or, you know, changing your mindset. But we're here to tell you these things can change at any given time. Your brain can change. Uh, it, it could get way better. It doesn't matter if you're 50, 60 or 70, you can change the state of your brain in just 30 days. You can change the state of your body in just 30 days. You can do it in 21 days. And with that being said, we have intensity starting March 28th, Monday, March 28th. And you can change the state of your, your health in 10 minutes. These are 10 minute workouts. Or if you choose not to do the workout, which we'd like you to move your body because we have hit and lit. Lit is low impact and hit is high impact. And so if you, you can choose to do low, low impact, it is, if you can move your body for 10 minutes and do this, you can do anything, right? You have 10 minutes to spare to change the state of your mind, to change the state of your entire physical body. And, you know, part of your physical body is your mental, your mental yes. muscle, right? In your head, your mental muscle is the hardest muscle to change. Isn't that right, Jackie? 100%, 100%. But you nailed it. Literally, doesn't matter your age, you can always change your thoughts and your thoughts may or end up being what your actions are. If you want abundance in your life, if you want to start working out first, you need to start thinking, I love exercise. I get to work out. I get to do intensity. I am going to do 10 minutes of exercise every day. Then your body, your, it's going to start thinking that way and you're going to start taking the next right action. So maybe you haven't signed up for Plant Chicks Lifestyle yet. So the first thing you'll do is you'll sign up for Plant Chicks Lifestyle. Go to our website, plantchicks.com. You'll see it on there plant, under programs, Plant Chicks Lifestyle. Join our Plant Chicks Lifestyle. Join us for 21 days doing intensity. And you guys, Marcy and I are going to be doing this with you. We're going to be sharing our workouts in the stories. We're going to post it, I think, at the end of every week. I'm going to do like a little compilation of all my check-ins of all the workouts that I did. Only 10 minutes. I cannot wait to do this. This is really good for you if you're wanting to start a workout program. We had a lot of people recently join our Plant Chicks Lifestyle. And a lot of you are saying that you are currently interested in exercise. Intensity is the best program that we have to get your to like dip your toes into the workout pool because it's only 10 minutes you can do anything for 10 minutes and you know what if you need to take a break during the 10 minutes there's a pause button just push pause you can catch back on and then push play again it's really no big deal and i love how we can do high impact low impact all in the same workout you decide what is best for you and then you get to check in check in here on in the tribe, on YouTube, on Instagram, wherever your jam is, we're there. We got you covered. We can't wait to do this workout for you with you. And literally, it's only 10 minutes a day. And you know what else? It's also really good for those people who have a workout program, but they're looking for something a little bit different or maybe something to do in addition to whatever they're doing for their workout. Maybe you go for walks outside and you want to do something else intensity is perfect do it from your home you do it from your computer from your phone you can do it you can stream it on your smart tv this has got the sky's the limit you can do it in the gym in your house in the hotel room when you're traveling like i just got back from africa i totally could have done it there we've got a lot of people from europe in our plant chicks lifestyle 
people are going to be doing it in Europe, Australia, Canada, United States. We literally have women from all over the world doing this. We can't wait to see your check-ins. But remember, it starts next Monday. One week from today, we will have already had our first intensity workout in, right? Yeah. We're going to do it in the morning. <laughs> we're like, we're going to do it in the morning. Yeah, it's I'm like, like, it'll start your day yeah, like 10 minutes. It. Turn it on. It starts your day. Even if you're doing the low intensity and it seems hard, just do what you can do. Just mimic some of the movements because it is really low impact. And we did it. We kept it in mind for people who had knee issues, ankle, hip issues, back issues, um, you know, joint pain. We, we kept it all. I, I suffer from, you know, back pain from my bodybuilding days with three of my discs were like herniated, like the little disc things in between are like squished from those days. And so I, and certain exercises can make my back, you know, like, simple as the plank can set my back off. Because the way my, my curve of my spine is, I have, uh, I want to say it's, it's kind of, I sway back and I have scoliosis, but there's a name, I can't remember if it's lordosis or kyphosis. There's a technical name with that the, that the, um, scoliosis doctor uses on me the, he specialized in scoliosis the chiropractor and he's like you have an interesting thing because you have your back it curves like an s when you look at it which it does and then it curves the other way where my tailbone is like way pronounced and it which is great for a bikini competition people always like wow it looks great it's my bone structure not my sister can't do that because her spine is straight it's different right and she tries to stick out her butt or glutes a certain way she doesn't have that arch in the back that's curved like i naturally have one day we we're playing around on that it's kind of interesting like our bone structure is so different so sometimes we're comparing ourselves to somebody that an unattainable look that we can't get because it's someone's bone structure that they were born with right so you have to work with what you have and so you know with and then this, mine because having scoliosis i have to go to the chiropractor consistently so people who do not get their back cracked at all have a higher chance of having a heart attack with scoliosis because the way their spine curves with their heart because there's like nerves and all that stuff how it compresses you can get a heart attack or stroke and i, I didn't know that. that yeah there's a, all these numbers like he had all this science and data and he presents it and i was like holy crap i didn't know that so it's a bit, but i actually went to a regular chiropractor before but this guy only deals with people with scoliosis so and that's what i had i've had it since i was in third grade when i was younger i had to wear a back brace you know because if it's a certain curvature i mean it was awful you know here i am with wearing glasses i had my teeth i wasn't like qualified for braces yet <laughs> and then i got this freaking back brace i was like Ugh! that didn't feel comfortable as a kid so even just sitting like straight up is very painful for me I, I naturally want to curb. Yeah, it'll. It's just like we were sitting in yoga, and I noticed this pain just trying to sit up straight. Whereas somebody who sits has a nice, normal, straight spine with good posture, it, it won't be painful. But someone like me, I struggle for posture, right? And that it's a struggle on a daily basis. And these are things like like some person wouldn't even think about. For me, I always do. So I like to stand up. I like to sit down when I'm working. I like to be on the floor. I do all kinds of things just to give my spine a break because even be, my spine being straight, which he, he said, I'll never, uh, never have a normal straight spine. That's just not in my genetic nature, but I can change the curvature of it, making it less, so there's better blood flow in it and that the blood flow is not restricted in the heart or say by my pelvic area. Cause when my, when my back hurts, it's not really my back on the lower back. It's actually re the referred pain. Mm. It's it's actually in the middle of my back. So the pain is where I think it's going to be in my middle back is really going towards my lumbar area. So it's very interesting what you learn about yourself. But all this has been kept in mind for people who have any type of pain for this exercise. The exercises are very, just get your low impact, just to get your body moving and flowing and the blood flowing. If you're high impact, I mean, you're going to slay these. Like Jackie is great at high impact. She has a jump like no other, and her flexibility is amazing. <laughs> There's some, some very, she's like superhuman strength on her jumps. Like, but she was a cheerleader. Like, I give it to her. Like, I'm like, dang, she's in her 50s and she still has it. Like, the girl can jump. I'm like, hey, she can. But I was telling Keith, I was like a little spider monkey. Like, she's like, bing. And then I do it. I look like a little lead weight, right? You know, and it's kind of funny. Oh God, you're so receiving 
on stuff. It, it is it's just funny how our bodies are we're all so uniquely different. So whether you're a spider monkey like Jackie or you're lead weight like me, you're going to be able to do these exercises. And it is kept with everybody in mind from every age range, whether you're young and healthy to old and maybe you're coming back or you're older i would say no i should say it's old but older or somebody who's been deconditioned you haven't worked out in a while and you want to get back into working out this is for you so and um, it's a wide a, a range of exercises and styles you can do it with no weights you can add some resistance you can add a weighted vest you can add barbells dumbbells whatever you have or you don't have to do anything so that's the beauty about intensity you are in control of the intensity that's right. So we can't wait to see you. It starts next week on Monday, March 28th. Join plantchicks.com, plantchicks lifestyle, plantchicks.com. And remember, a body at rest stays at rest. A body in motion stays in motion. Let's do intensity together. Get that body in motion. Keep it in motion. And let's level up. All right. We're heading to Instagram, you guys. We'll see you over there. All right, see you on Instagram. Go get those goals. <laughs>